Wait, why is chat Comic Sans? I'm not, I didn't do that. I did not do that. That is so funny. Wait, what? Why is chat Comic Sans? I didn't do that. That is, that's really funny. Stream crashed and then it came back as Comic Sans? Well, I hope you guys liked. It. I hope you guys liked the advice. Also, pipe bomb is so right. Uh, if she plays D and D with you and watches your Twitch, that's not too much of a jump. Um, to be fair, I think we do live in a society. No, sorry, I was just making a joke. We do live in a society, so I think that. Um, I think that the when Harry met Sally effect has kind of rotted all of our brains. I think it is unfair that we think that just because she does things that a guy friend would do, like if it was if it was just a guy friend that played D&D &D with him and watched his stream, we would not be like, oh, he must be in love with you romantically. But the fact that it's like guy and girl, oh, they must be dating. It's like the Harry Met Sally effect of just thinking that Guys and girls can't be friends. They have to date. So, I don't know. I think we have to be aware of that. Because there is a chance. I'm just trying to be, you know. I'm trying to not set you up for failure here. There is a chance that she is just your friend. So, I think it is unfair of all of us to put the expectations on King. That because this girl plays D&D &D and watches his stream. She must like him romantically. Because we don't actually know the situation. I have more nicknames from my past. Someone would come to parties and only go for the spirits. We called him the exorcist. Fuck, you had such creative friends, Whisper. I'm friends with girls. I just want this one to be a girlfriend. Whoa. Whoa. King. <laughs> Crazy phrasing. Whoa. But those signs are different with each person, so good luck. <laughs> Hansi, the fucking woman master of here. <laughs> uh, don't think of it as a major downside, more like a possibility. Yeah. Am I wrong? No, I just think it's so funny. <laughs> I just think it's really funny. I just like seeing love guru messages sent from Hansi live. <laughs> genuine good luck. Yeah, I'm sure. That's all that was funny to me. I came up with a couple. Sniper's Dream was my invention. Oh, you have gifted us many good things. Yeah, actually true. I don't know. I think Matty, what he's looking for is how to ask, though. Um. Also something... Okay, so this is... Okay, this is the best advice I will ever give on the Aphonic stream ever in my entire life so listen up it does not come regularly best advice i literally ever give the other obviously what i said before was a joke it was meant to be funny and i thought it was funny i was actually really, i thought that bit was very funny but the best advice i will ever give you king is if you're worried about just asking if you're just being like hey i think i have romantic feelings for you do you thanks Gubrat. time go wait time Gubrat out for two weeks okay if if you are worried about just saying, hey, I think I have, um, I think I might have, like, feelings for you, like, do you want to go on a, like, do you, would you want to, like, maybe go on a date? Saying something like that, right? If you're scared of saying that because she might not, then that is a very bad mindset. It's not a problem. It's a mindset that I have been in many times. It's a mindset that most people have been in. It is easier to keep looking for signs and keep having this kind of relationship build up in your head but it becomes a lot more difficult to deal with the fact of when it ends right when you're projecting no i'm just saying this is a relatable mindset of just like not going and ask because if you're friends with someone and you want to start dating them but you're not asking because you don't want them to say no you give yourself room to just keep building up the relationship and i think what you want to do is just just ask that she won't agree. I. That's what I'm saying. 
I want to ask her out. I'm just worried that she won't agree. She might not. But my point is, you sh if she wanted to go out, she will go out. King, if she wants to date you, she will say yes to going out with you. So what you need to do is ask her, right? Is ask her with confidence, Jay. I, I, hey, I think I like my getting feelings for you. I think I'm going to, do you want, could, could we go on like a date? Like a, like a romantic date? Like to get coffee or something like that. Just ask that. And if she says no, you say, that's okay. Like you, you just deal with that. <laughs> you have to deal with it. You just say, oh, okay. No, you know, you deal with that. You remain, you keep the friendship. You can't wait until she's going to say yes, because it might never happen. And probably if she'll, if she's ever going to say yes to dating you, she'll say yes to the first date. If you ask her now, do you like hear the words I'm saying? If she's going to want, if she wants to date you and she's going to date you, you have to say, you have to ask and she will say yes if she wants to. If she doesn't want to date you, she will say no. There's no build up. There's no ask her in a specific way. Is this a romantic? No, I was asked a question and I'm trying to give actual genuine advice. And that is literally the best I can do, which is you just need to say ask. You just need to ask. King, I will be asking you every stream from now on. It's not going to be a whole thing, but every stream. Every stream, I'm going to be asking. I'm just gonna check. Like, Do you ask her? Do you gonna say no? Cool, it's fine. It's actually good. It is. It's good advice, and it's advice that I wish I had had earlier. Yeah, you know, like Smurf your peak. I was talking about Riz. Well, if we're talking about Riz, I am the most rizzed up in this fucking. I am the most rizzed up in this Twitch chat. Not rizzed up like I get rizzed up. I have the most riz in this fucking Twitch chat. I have the most Riz in this Twitch chat. Rizophonic. Okay, so that's why Quetzal has no Riz. What's up, Quetzal? I missed you. Delusional? Wrong. I've dated over 10 women. Anzi, <laughs> thanks for pinning that. Eel, if anything, that just shows that you're not good at retaining the relationship. It's not about getting into it, it's about retaining it. You gotta have the Riz to keep it going. Also, what do you mean you've dated 10 women? What the fuck? How? How? How do those numbers add together? Don't call me out. I'm calling you out. Why have you dated 10 women? You're not even 20. Don't date 10 women. Here's Sword Riz, I reckon. Dude, you want to hear the tea? Is it about to be 11 women? I don't know. I have so much eel lore. If we do, I'm in a strong, healthy relationship. I'm good. Wait, did eel ask Kanzi out? Dating 10 women when you're not even 20 is not a flex at all, Lamal. <laughs> Most Rizwal says, hey, I know someone who likes you and they are very close to you. I didn't say that to Maddie King. It was a joke about how that's the worst way to ask a girlfriend. Like a girl, a friend that is a girl. There's a, there's, it's like a running gag because it gets done so often. That is how I asked my... F Wait. No, that is how I asked my first girlfriend out when I was 14. And it worked, but... I think it's funny to look back on because like now it's a it's a burnt method, guys. Can you look at my last nickname message? Oh fuck, let me scroll. Fuck, where's the mouse? It's over there. One of the most terrible nicknames was for one of our mates who got into an accident and couldn't walk anymore. We fully called him Hot Wheels and saw nothing wrong with it. It's crazy that you fucking lived glee and you just had everyone. Funny is a gremlin. Traumatizing. Thank you. Gotta go. Oh, where's, what did I miss? Funny, how would you pick up a guy? With my arms. <laughs> um, Funny, can you look at my last nickname? Yeah, I already read that. Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't pick up a guy. I feel like it's fair to say that as a straight man, well, as a, mm, as a straight man, I feel like I don't have the actual... I feel like I'm just true. I'm saying I don't have the expertise. I'm not going to talk as a straight man on how gay people should pick each other up. Want a questioning right now? No, nah, it couldn't be me. I've dated zero women. 
for whatever re- you know what i thought you were saying you've only dated zeros and i was like that's a crazy self-report and also just on just mean <laughs> A funny question. No. Homophobic? I'm not. Be- no. It's not homophobic. Crazy. I have dated more than negative one people. That's great, man. I once had a guy friend ask me out, but my autistic ass thought it was a joke and said no and laughed. <laughs> That's really funny. Do I know them? <gasps> Wait a minute. Sorry, I just I just sorry, my gasp was me remembering that Zolly is straight. <laughs> it's it is not believable. <laughs> it's not true. It's a conspiracy we're all being fed. <laughs> He's not, he can't be. It was the biggest real life plot twist of my entire life so far was finding out someone I knew and was friends with was straight. It was the gayest straight man I've ever met. Chat, you don't understand. He is the gayest man I have ever met. And when I found out he was straight, my world was rocked. My world was rocked. He was all, he's an IRL friend. But just me, Maddie, and Hans, you know. It, it was, it was life changing. Cause he, I, it was crazy too. I think I offended him, which is not too bad because I, I am his friend. So I didn't mean to offend him. We were once like hanging out and he talked and he brought up his ex girlfriend. I interrupted. I was like, I. <laughs> he said, Oh, yeah, like my ex girlfriend. I said, Girlfriend? <laughs> and he said, What? I said, Did you say your. Did you say ex girlfriend? And he said, Charlie, I'm straight. <laughs> And the shock on my face and the laughter from everyone in the room, because clearly everyone had gone through what I just went through. He was so offended by how shocked I was. It was like mind blowing. You remember this? Dude, it was so funny. (sighs) No one's interesting in this fucking interesting in this boring ass suburb. Either they are friend or that should stay around a flavored air stick consumer or someone who has done underage things. Ooh. Ooh. Everyone, roll back the chat. Pipe bomb. What the fuck do you mean, someone who has done underage things? I want you to clarify that part of the sentence right now. I'm so interested. What you mean? And also why that is a ne- whatever I don't even know what it means, but I want cl- I want first clarification what it means, and then I want you to explain why it's bad. Because I don't know what it means. I know what things it could mean, but the things it could mean, I don't understand why they would be bad. So like I'm trying to get the whole thing. This is so fun. I don't know why. Just the stream. I appreciate that. I've done things while underage is my guess. Yeah, I've done what things? I think you know. It. Are you saying people that have had sex before they're 18? Is that what you're talking about? Is is it just yes or no? Are you saying like shagging? Oh God, stop reminding us you're fucking British. God fucking dead. Get fucking, okay, Austin Powers. Get out of my chat. Okay. Before marriage is, no, no, I want to know. Is that what he means? Pipe bomb, is that what you mean? You mean sex before 18? But like way too much. Okay, yeah. But sex. Okay. So, yeah. The sex. Full sex. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's crazy. Oh my god. Um, your list. Wait. What? I'm so interested right now. So pipe bomb. You're saying you're 15, and you're saying that everyone in your suburb is not interesting, and your list of the three re- things that make them uninteresting. One of the three things, one of the three things is sex underage. Isn't the average age to lose your virginity under 18? The average. I believe the average, the most common age to lose your virginity is like 17. So why is sex under 18? Why is that? 
why is that a like a, a, a something in your like list of like things that make people undateable for you? Consent is sixteen and sorry. <laughs> Pause. I meant when you're both under sixteen. I meant when you're both under sixteen. I meant when you're both under sixteen. Pause. <laughs> when you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Okay, but wait. So interesting. Wait, so are you shaming people that have sex when they're under 16 with other people that are under 16? Like, let's say they're within like a year of each other in age. Like that's a like. What do you think of those people? Is that a problem? Funny. Is this something the chat must be concerned about? I don't think so. That's so. Wait. I didn't. It's so funny. I feel like it's been so long since I've met people that like care. Do we call the Roses? I don't know what that is. It is only a problem if it is. Also before marriage, the Roses. Dude, I swear Whisper doesn't even know these words. He's just Googling British slang and using it in my chat. He doesn't even know what it means. Is this you talking about choosing who to date? Like you won't date someone who's had or wants to have sex? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Maddie. That's what I'm asking. The police. Oh, okay. Roses, cops. Ugh, fuck Roses. No, that's so, mate, that's exactly what I'm asking. Because Pipe Bomb was like, oh, I don't want to date like anyone in my suburb. And was like listing reasons why he wouldn't want to date them. And like having sex was like a reason not to date people. I don't know how to explain this. I feel like most people are like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are the opposite, right? I get avoiding people if you, who have sex if you don't want to have sex. Oh. True. <laughs> I guess. I wasn't thinking. I mean, yeah. I guess I wasn't thinking like that. Oh, the murder body count? A oh, wrong reply. <laughs> Eel, don't worry. We know you were trying to respond to Hansi. Which body count? I got that. It was a suck situation. No, you're all good. Oh, wait, so is that what you were saying? Five moments? So you're saying you don't. I feel like we're being too judgy. I want to I want to have a genuine conversation about this. So, are you saying you don't want to have sex? You don't want to date anyone that's had sex? Is that because of how old you are currently? Or because, in general, you only want to date virgins? Is that, like, a... Is that just something, like, you think of? I'm going to eat more cookie dough. How old are you? Eel's like 19, I think. Sorry, I only said it because Eel, I feel like you talk about your age a lot. That wasn't me, like, I would, that wasn't me doxing your age. Well, I mean, it was, but I, I thought you were public about it. But... I'm talking like Karen from Shameless Amount of Sex, like slutty. <laughs> Dude! I was a slut. What do you mean? What's wrong with that? I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. Like being a slut is only a problem if you cheat. As long as you don't cheat, I don't feel the problem with it. Is because I is the biggest slut. I'm in a committed relationship. I ain't never slutting anymore. I was a slut. I hate slutty attitude. What is slutty attitude? You're dating someone? Oh my god. Eel, this is the funniest conversation of all time and you don't even understand. <laughs> yeah, my slutting days are in my past. I'm out of date on my aphonic law. It's true. 
I'm still a slut. Slay. Slay, homies. Who are you dating? Mm, you know them very well. Ooh. I believe it was that one person from Harry Potter who said, Don't get mad. Fuck till you drop. Yeah, I'm dating I love you homies in chat. He's my estranged lover from Italy. We like to laugh about his friends that post sexually on Instagram. On their private stories. Is this a joke? I'm autistic. <laughs> no, Eli, I am joking. I'm dating Maddie. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> I'm the side beast, but we only cuddle sometimes. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the shout out, homies. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's really funny. Sorry, I'm just still. I just thought it was really funny that Pipe Bomb said, like Karen from Shameless, slutty. But also, Karen from Shameless was so hot. What the heck? What the heck? She's like the only blonde in media that I've ever thought was hot, which is really funny. I just, blondes aren't my type, which isn't important. Her character is 14. <gasps> no, I watched the show when I was 14. Shut the fuck up. Stop trying. I was four. Oh my God. I hate you guys so much. I haven't seen the show since I was 14 guys. I watched Shameless when I was 14. I watched Shameless when I was 14 and I never watched it after. I watched it when I was 14. I was referring, I said she was the only blonde I ever found attractive. I was 14. I haven't seen it since then. Stop trying to put words in my mouth. Stop trying to get me in trouble. Stop trying to get me in trouble, guys. Stop trying to twist my words. You're getting away with this, but you are on pack. I'm not on pack watch. I'm not a pedophile. What is this? What is this? What is actually happening right now? You're twisting my words. This is unfair. Let me get this shit out of here. It's fucked up. This is this is society's problem. This is what we have to go through as Twitch streamers. It's fucked up. Don't worry, I'm on your side. I don't know what's going on. You're all good. I don't know, man. You're sounding like a bit of a nonce. God damn it. You are not kidding. You actually have locked up British slang. I know what nonce means. But you've actually just looked up British slang and you're trying to get through as much of it as you can. There's no way you use it all day to day in Twitch chat. There's no way. There's no fucking way. Because in general, I feel like people don't use their own country slang in random Twitch chats. I don't see that a lot. People just default because they know shit that is specific. Oh my god. Next topic, please. I did not explain this uninter I did not I did not explain this uninteresting this well. Next topic, please. I did not explain this uninteresting this well. That's not English. What, mate? Crikey, mate. Thanks, Turtle. You what? <laughs> Me and Jacob use so much slang online. I don't know. You use more slang in person? You've used every piece of slang so far. I, we are fighting to the death, by the way. Oh, over what? I would use my country's slang if I was English. I already do it with my IRL friends. If it was English. Oh, Alexa, where are you from again? Wait, what? Wait, I would use my country's slang if it was English. Alexa, are you like, do you like speak Italian? Well, like, wait, let me guess. Spanish. You speak Spanish. Can you overlay subway surfers in the top left so we have something to watch? I'm, I'm right here, man. <gasps> Catman. Get him in. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, you're just adjusting? Going back to bed? Okay, fair enough. <sighs> I've used three words that I already use instead of other words. Fair enough. Ketamine. That doesn't seem relevant. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. Cat alert? Meow. That's my, that's my cat alarm sounding off. I'll try to re-explain this. Okay, you got this. You have got this. 
So what were you saying? You said we should kill all sluts. So anyone that has sex with more than two people should die, but only if they're a woman and men are allowed to do it. That's what you said, right? I'm just checking. Just, I don't want to twist your words. He can watch the cat? That's what I'm saying. Quite so you get it. Women? What? No. Rights? Heavens no. What are you, crazy? Here we go again. Hey, it's Whisper. Yeah, Whisper. Whisper's all. Whisper's here for the dra for the drama. He all just activates like a sleeper agent when she hears the word. Oh yeah, women. Womp womp. I've been called a slut, slay. No, wait, that doesn't count. You called yourself a slut, Hermes. Hermes, I want to test my gaydar. Are you gay? I mean, you're in a Twitch chat. You can also just choose. You can say you would rather not answer. I don't want to put you on the spot like that. I just want to. I want to. Hey, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I would like to. I'd like to test it. Put a slut by my ex before breaking up. Ex boyfriend. Fuck. Fuck. Am I gay? I don't know, pipe bomb. I don't think so. What is your favorite? Wait, Hansi, what is your favorite word? That one on the left? What? I like to act gay. <laughs> okay, that seems like a problem. But sure. I'm really proud of you. Oh, you guys want to see knife tricks? I don't know if I can still do them. What a random fucking... What a specific little thing my brain remembered I can do. I don't even know if I... I don't even know where I keep it. I have a... I have a... um. A training blade, like a butterfly training blade. Oh, I found it. I found it. I haven't touched this in maybe five months. Let's see what I still got. Okay. Okay. I, I actually don't know what I still have. I just remembered I had this. Okay. We, we can open it. We can close it. Okay, this is progress. Okay, okay. He apparently died in a gruesome knife accident. Who? Oh, Fonic was found. Oh, no, it's a training blade. I'm fine. Is there a friend that should stay a friend? A flavored airstick consumer or someone who has had sex to the point where they have consistently bitchy attitude? That's crazy. Okay. Pipebomb, I realized that you are unlikely to be honest. Not, I'm not calling you a liar, but let's just say you, you are unlikely to answer this question honestly, which is fair. I wouldn't expect you to, but I, I'm going to ask it. Do you know any men that have had sex to the point where they have a consistently bitchy attitude? Or is that only referring or majority referring to women you know that are your age that have a consistently bitchy attitude? That was actually so sorry. I was I wasn't even thinking. I was just reading chat. Wait. Oh fuck, I still have it then. Wait. Oh, it's so sick. Yes. Oh, I still have it. I don't even know if you guys can see it. I I, wanna, I don't know how close I can go without breaking my computer. Dude. Dude, I will never touch grass. I'll show the design. I have autofocus turned off, actually. It might be difficult to show you guys. Yeah, I would have to, I would have to turn, I would have to, oh fuck, I'll turn it back on. Mostly women, because most of the men they are dating are outside of school, and the remainder I have seen with the same attitude. Okay, do you know any men that have consistently bitchy attitude because of how much sex they've had? With the exact same knife? Dude, so funny. There was a kid in my grade in year seven who basically would take orders from people. Oh, no, it was me. I'm so fucking brain dead. It was me. 
It was me. I was the kid. How the fuck did I start that story thinking it was someone else? Holy fuck. I was the kid. <laughs> because there was someone else that did it, I think, and I got the idea off them, but then I started doing it. Basically, I showed people the... It was like this dragon-hilted, like, blade. Um, and then I would take orders from students, and they would put in orders, and then I would just order them all to my house. And I was making fucking bank selling people these. Pe telling people... Just, I was drop-shipping IRL. There are men with consistency, but you had Okay. And those are the men that have, have the too much sex. Have the too much, very, very likey sex, man. Too much, too much sex, man, makes a man, makes a, makes a man go bitchy, yeah, yeah. Bitchy, stinky French man, too much sex, man. Sm this perfume so good, smells like power, smells like power from another sex. It's affecting this generation, so true. I just noticed Claude, he's been there the whole time. Pay attention. Wait, I didn't even open the Elgato thing. El gato. The fuck? Is it hidden behind the chat? No. Okay, the fuck? Where is it then? Oh, fuck. I just opened Photoshop. Oh, close. Close. Please close. Fuck. God. Fuck. Fuck. 